Konnichiwa everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas and I am very, very excited and hungry today. This challenge, I found out about it today and got it all set up today. So big thank you to everybody here with Midtown Barbecue. We're here at their Tokyo, Japan location. Many people have tried, very few people have won, but today I'm going for overall victory number 1,189. A total win number six in Tokyo, Japan. Final victory number three of this trip. But we went to Kyoto for some time off. I am feeling great today, finally. We are all here, like I said, at Midtown Barbecue. They've got three locations all around Japan. This is the third, but I am hoping to become one of the few elite people to dominate their right around three kilogram dinosaur tray Japanese barbecue challenge. Now, I've got pretty much one sitting time limit just to feast and enjoy and savor the flavor of all of the food here. Now, they've got a massive Godzilla platter challenge, which is like 10 kilograms. It feeds like eight to 15 people or something. I've got their dinosaur tray platter, which is right around three kilograms. It's meant for pretty much family and decent sized groups or one Atlas. Ugh. I'm excited, it's all boneless, the chicken here, but we've got a couple chicken thighs, but I think first I'm gonna start out with their slow smoked pulled pork. That's got their homemade barbecue sauce on it. We've got a couple different sausages, pork sausages that they actually make themselves nearby, which is great. And then on the bottom, we've got, I don't know if it's a full wrap or how much it is, but it's a whole bunch of their barbecue spare ribs. And those are pork as well. Along with the platter, all these meats, there's three double sides. We've got two scoops of their mashed potatoes, four of their butter rolls. They look amazing and light and fluffy. And then pretty much the base of this platter, there's a whole bunch of their French fries. Uh, I wanted to try the coleslaw, this is optional. Uh, I got it just for fun to taste it, but that's a little bowl of their coleslaw. This beer is optional as well, it's a hazy IPA. Uh, they actually, the restaurant company owns a brewery as well, Tall Boys Brewery. And then I might even have an Oreo milkshake, but one setting time limit. If I fail, it's gonna be 9,800 Japanese yen, which is right around right now, uh, 70 American dollars. But if I do win, I will get my entire meal for free, which is gonna be awesome. And I will get my name and photo up on the wall of fame here at the Tokyo location of Midtown Barbecue, very close to the Tokyo Dome. But uh, yeah, let's get this challenge started. <laughs> yeah. All right, big thank you to my friend John with Only in Japan YouTube channel, links down in the description. Thanks to him for getting this set up and helping with all the filming. One setting time limit, let's just get the uh, timer started and shut up and eat. One, two, three, boom. All right. Let's actually start out with the sausage while it's hot. Homemade hair, and that is juicy, that's pretty good. Smoked five hours, it's not flavored or anything, right? Yep. I mean, there's no cheddar or anything in there? No, okay. no. Very good. My very first time eating uh, pulled pork with chopsticks. This shouldn't be too bad. Mmm, oh yeah. Pulled pork is smoked with love for 10 hours. And actually, two different employees I've talked to so far said this was their favorite meat here. Barbecue restaurants need to serve this at uh, in the United States. This should be a thing. Are you, are you saying pulled pork isn't? Hmm? I had no idea that pulled pork wasn't just... Chopsticks. Oh, chopsticks! Oh, okay. eating, eating pulled pork with chopsticks should be a thing. Oh, okay. It, it looks like a mess, you know? It, it, it takes a little bit longer to eat, so you get to savor it longer, yeah. rather than just shoving it in with a fork or your hands. The, I think two people have finished this within the one sitting time limit. The record is by a German guy uh, who did it right around 30 minutes. So I don't know if we're gonna beat that, we'll just have to see. But either way, we got one sitting, we're gonna do it. Pulled pork is done, it was delicious. These are boneless, skinless chicken thighs. They're not skinless, right? Uh, yeah, they've got skin. They're boneless chicken thighs. That chicken is very good. We are at three minutes, 48 seconds in. It's very tender, I like the flavor of it.
While they're slightly warm, let's try one of these buttered rolls. Ooh, yeah, they're light and fluffy like I figured. All right, we're gonna do another sausage and then we're gonna finish off the chicken. And then we'll do the other sausages, then we'll do these uh, pork spare ribs. All right, this is the spicy barbecue. They mostly focus on quality here, but of course there is some quantity for big groups. And ooh, you can tell that this is very high quality. That sausage was good, we got one left of the four. We started with, let's do this piece of uh, chicken thigh. Tall Boys Brewery, they make a few of their own beers. This uh, Hazy IPA is very good. They're available at all three of the locations. Doma Chicken. 11 minutes and 20 seconds in, we are kicking butt. Uh, chicken's gone, pulled pork's gone. Let's finish off the sausage and then we will get to the pork spare ribs. If I was eating these normally and not watching my calories, I'd probably add some butter. But uh, either way, still good rolls. Overall, I don't really know how to differentiate the barbecue here versus America versus Australia. It's all been very good. All done with that. Uh, yeah, let's work on some ribs. Ooh, that's nice. And that's after like 30 minutes of it sitting here. 17 and a half minutes in. Oh yeah. And this is a full rack. They've got a bunch of cheesecakes and stuff for dessert, uh, but they just started offering milkshakes. So I wanted to get this Oreo milkshake uh, to show off that they now have milkshakes if you're interested. Uh, but before we work on that, let's finish off some more ribs. It's not as bad as not knowing Chinese in China or being with somebody that knows Chinese, but it's a struggle here in Japan if you don't know Japanese. But uh, still well worth the trip here. It's been so great here. And like I've said multiple times, we're lucky to have John helping us, who I met back in 2018. All right, 24 minutes, five seconds in. Uh, let's work on the second half of the rack of the ribs. And then along the way, we'll do some more. Uh, we still gotta finish the mashed potatoes and the fries. Along with everywhere else in Japan, uh, they put a big emphasis on the uh, presentation of this challenge and I really appreciated that. That was a great setup of how this was all assembled. Ooh, I'll tell you what, I'm excited to be done. Thomas, the manager here, said that he believes 98% of people who try to finish this in one sitting will fail. And I do believe him. That's a, that's a lot of food. And uh, this is not on my diet, by the way, but let's have some milkshake. Starting with a Oreo, an actual legit Oreo too, not off-brand. Mmm. All in the details. Oh, 
All right, we're getting there, we're getting there. All right, we gotta finish off the ribs. Challenge is not over. All right, we got plenty of time. It's one sitting time limit. I'm just letting my stomach settle. sides as well but yeah the uh, pork spare ribs those were great uh, I've got to say I think this doesn't often happen I usually don't go with it as my favorite but today I think I'm gonna go with the pulled pork as being my favorite when I did love their homemade barbecue sauce that they have uh, these other ones I didn't really use too much I didn't use any of the ketchup here everything was great here so no matter what you order here at Midtown barbecue uh, you're gonna be happy they've got lots of other stuff on the menu either way get to a location near you uh, for me it was overall victory number 1189 uh, so that was total win number six uh, number three of this trip all around the Tokyo area great to be here Katina and I head to New Zealand next if you like this video be sure to watch either this one or this one I know you you will love both of those as well past tokyo area challenges but either way win before you begin i'll catch you in the next video thanks so much for watching yeah. all right guys you didn't think i was going to end this video without chugging the beer did you the uh, hazy ipa delicious by tall boys brewery